and welcome back to Project Hospital. Welcome back to campaign one. We are halfway through day six. And what is going on? Not a lot actually, it's pretty quiet here. Look at this, it's pretty quiet, isn't it? We need to treat 30 patients uh, at emergency today. If we look at our stats here, yesterday we treated 34. So that's pretty good. Uh, today uh, we've untreated two. I I think they were probably those um, uh, people that needed to go to the ICU and we simply didn't have the beds for it, um, so we had to send them away. Um, but look, 28. Well, we're so close, right? We're, we'll, we'll absolutely get this um, done today. What is this? So Peter Baker, he is um, our one of our favourite patients. So we've uncovered a symptom for Peter. Hello, Peter. How are you today? Um, so that's, that's good. Did we? Which one was it? I guess we've dealt with it, have we? I don't know. What is happening here? Uh, he needs dialysis, which I think he's had, yeah, he's had it. He's had his dialysis. So I guess he's just recovering then, right? He is just recovering and then he'll go home. Well, that'll be great. Chronic kidney disease. Oh God, that sounds awful, doesn't it? Right, anyway, shall we take a look, see who is kicking about the hospital and, um, you know, what's going on? Let's try and, let's try and get an idea of what is occurring. We want all the patients for, emer that can't be all the patients for emergency. Really? Okay, Linda is in the waiting room doing her thing. Okay. Um, then, uh, oh look, here, so we've got quite a lot, haven't we, in general surgery. Uh, where is, where are you? No, she's not even there yet. Okay, let's, let's, oh my god, they're all actually hospitalised. Everybody here is hospitalised. Uh, okay, and what about the orthopaedic, okay, we do have some walk-ins here. Oh, no. This one, this one, this one, and there's one on the bottom. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, so it looks like we have pretty much gone over. We don't need to x-ray that. Pretty much gone over these. Um, so now, what is the closed reduction? Where can we, they can do that just in the normal, they don't need to be hospitalized for that, no? I'm not sure, don't think so. We'll give it a go, I'm sure it'll tell us. Um, that much we know. So uh, yeah, get some exercise, she can go home. Wonderful. Uh, he, oh, had an x-ray. Oh, well. Oh, but we have set him up, look, for his um, surgery. Um, what's going on here? Oh, look. Look, well, we would rather like to not. Um, let's see. If we do physical examination, we might be able to whittle this down. Um, an EMG is the recording and evaluation of the electrical activity of the patient's muscles. Ooh, um, and this, the ultrason the uh, ultrasonography, <laughs> is a medical imaging technique using ultrasound waves, uh, resulting in visualization of both soft and hard tissue and organs. Let's try that, and then differential. Well, um, I guess we'll just see what it gets us. Uh, we'll just see what it gets us. Um, and he's uh, got all this going on. That's great. Can you go home yet? We would like for you to go to go now. Thank you. Can you go now? That would be splendid. Ooh, look, lots of people here that are, are just look. If any, they're going. They're slowly being dealt with and sent out the door. And we have covered everybody here, right? We've covered everybody. We might just keep him around. Nice. Okay. Anybody back in? Ooh, who's Paul? Hello, Paul. We don't need to do all of these. We know. We know. Look. Just get some rest. He's got fever, so we'll give him something for the fever, but otherwise, go home. Go home, Paul. Go home. Uh, sur uh, surgeries and certain more complicated procedures require... Ah, yes. So, this does require hospitalisation. 
Um, so we'll, we'll just try regular. Yeah. We'll just we'll just try regular. Would that be all right? Yeah, that seems to be fine. Excellent. Okay. Um, I think he'll be absolutely fine. Um, she's gone home. That's great. Excellent. So, Fraser here. We want to know more about Fraser. Oh, Alexa's being very noisy. Alexa, stop. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Right, um, where is he? He's going to the toilet. Fraser, I'd like to know what's wrong with you. Oh, look, objective complete. See, I knew we'd be able to do this today. <gasps> Reach 90% prestige at the end of the... Really? I'm not sure if we can do... Can we do that? Is that even possible? Mind you, I suppose, look. I mean, that looks like 100%, right? Five stars for yesterday. Yeah, surely we can do that. Surely we can do that. And look, we've got a load more money, um, which means, you know what we could do? We could just pay back... Oops, I took it out. We could pay that back. Oh my gosh, we go nuts and give ourselves 165 doubloons. <laughs> Uh, we're going crazy. Uh, we want all or nothing, peeps. All or nothing. Um, yeah, see, they're all in hospital. It seems very quiet here today, doesn't it? I think what we'll do is uh, we'll speed this up because it does. It just doesn't seem like much is going on at all. I don't understand. It's seeming very quiet in the in here today. Right. What's going on? A physical examination for Fraser here. Well done. Excellent. What are we right? We've well, we've we've got it down to three. So he is now going to. Oh, uh, an ambulance has head out. An emergency. He's going back to reception to be triaged into orthopedy. That's. I probably should have done that. I probably should have saved some time, um, and done that myself. Quite quite honestly. Um, I don't know. Do any of these cause temperature? Probably not. Probably not. He is probably going to need an x-ray, isn't he? If, if, if we're being honest, he's probably going to need an x-ray. Are you next? Ooh, the emergency is coming in. Who is this? Casey? What's going on, Casey? Right, shall we do some sensible examinations first? This is definitely going to be internal medicine. Um, do you know what? Let's do an urgent echo on him. Hmm? Abdominal injury. We don't have any pulsating thing. He'll be fine. He'll be, he'll be totally and utterly fine. Although we're not really finding out much about him, are we? We are going to have to send it to chems, I think. Right, where are you? You are waiting. Oh, he's starting to look a little bit peaky. See the way he's rocking there? So he's gone for an MRI. Really? Why not an X-ray upper limb scan? Isn't that interesting? Still. Oh, another one. It's another one. Ooh. Okay. Oh, they're heading out. No, that was weird. Oh yeah, look. No, there. That's what I say. I'm sure we had another one. Look, okay, so we need a Boston brace um, and she'll be in the hospital so we'll try and make her as comfortable as possible um, by giving her a, a dealing with all of these symptoms just so that we can deal with with her discomforts and satisfaction and stuff we want to try and get these nice and high um, and dealing with all of her symptoms will definitely help with her being a very happy bunny um, so look at this rooms with critical workload was four Okay, fine. Um, so, well, we've got one here. So, well, the emergency department was fine. No highs, no criticals. So that's great. Uh, same with radiology. That was fine. Um, now, look at this. Medical. Why are we, why are we not surprised? <laughs> Shall we? Um, God, look at all the money. Let's go up here. Probably going to have to take out more money at this rate. Um, it's ne is it the next floor? It's here. Okay, so if we go into management mode, which one was it? This one, blood works. 
nighttime critical and high. Okay, okay. So in the day we have three, but at night we have two. Right. Interesting. Okay. So let's get another nighttime person in. Um, now we should be able to no yes select so you can filter them out there's um there's somebody watching the series called serena and um they've been absolutely fantastic at giving me feedback definitely worth checking out the comments uh, and seeing what people are discussing about this series um because it's all a learning curve i think for everybody playing this game you know i certainly don't have all the answers to everything and i think serena's had a little more time with the latest update than i have um which is really fantastic and i'm appreciating all the feedback if you've um seen things i'm not doing right or things that you know that i haven't expressed do let me know because I'd like to try and cover as much information about this game as possible uh, in this series. And, and one of the things here is that um, Serena was saying is that you can select these so you can filter the candidates that are applying for the role. And we definitely want um, uh, technologists that will work in biochemistry, right, um, to work in, in our, our, our blood lab, right, the um, haematology. That's what it's called, hematology department. And Serena also um, was uh, sharing with me that um, the different labs that we have here, these three different labs that we have here, um, do tend to best aid certain departments, or so we believe. So the hematology, which is your blood work, is best suited to being uh, with your emergency clinics. Um, and then the um, histology department and histology is the microscopic analysis of various samples this one here which is supposed to be very good for general surgery general surgery tend to rely on this one quite a lot and then microbiology which is this one over here and I was aware that isn't being used very often and that's because it's um, a good support for internal medicine and of course I don't have that internal medicine I don't have that department um, so this is why this one isn't being used. That's not to say that these departments won't take, uh, won't benefit from having other um, labs available to them. It's just that they tend to be the ones they rely on the most, um, which might give you an idea of, okay, I would like to have um, the uh, hematology, uh, hematology department perhaps downstairs near your emergency department and of course that's two floors away from me so it's all down here so you know that that could be um something to really think about when uh, deciding where to stick this otherwise i suppose i myself am currently treating it very similar to x-ray right um so lots of patients will come from anywhere in the hospital and will need to head to radiology department and now we're just sort of doing that with with the chem work anyway with that covered um yes so we've filtered for our biochemists. Um, let's see. Ooh, look at this one. Fast. Moves really fast. Sure. Okay. That's great. We'll get, we'll get her in. And she's dealing with clinics and hospitalized patients, which should be, that should be fine, I would have thought. Um, the intensive care unit is fine. We had a, a couple of highs in the night, um, which is interesting. I think we do have less um, staff available for intensive care during the night to what we do during the day and it's nice and easy to see now with this change that they've made I love this change that they've made here for seeing staff in these rooms it's so good um, so we can see we have one nurse during the day one nurse during the night um, and then we have now look we have two doctors in the day and two doctors at the night so okay that's I'm probably going to to leave that. I think I think I'm not going to worry about that just for the moment. Ooh, look at this general surgery: three high, three critical, three high, two critical, day and night. So, I think we can safely say that this department is seriously struggling, and it's not the walk-ins. Definitely not walk-ins. It's all up here with these. Look at this. It's all up here. So, 
Um, the question, what the best way I feel maybe to deal with it at this point is to build um, another one of these and another one of these and staff them. Um, we don't really have the money at the moment, so we might leave it until uh, we might leave it another day, get in a bit of money and start building up on this. I don't really want to increase the loan anymore because, of course, one of our main objectives here is to clear that loan. In fact, that is the main objective. And then we've also got orthopedy. Uh, problems um, so let's have a look down here no is it up here it's this it's this diagnosis room again even though this one's fine um, so something else Serena was saying is that this might purely be a staffing issue particularly if this one is looking fairly normal it could be that there aren't enough nurses perhaps to transport the patients around that could be uh, absolutely a thing and what can um, cause the workload to increase here is a patient inside the room waiting either to, for a nurse to transport them away or for a doctor to turn up to actually do whatever they need to do so um, it could be that kind of problem here and looking at it given that this is a medium workload and this is a critical workload I'm inclined to think that that probably is what's going on here um, that probably is what's going on um, so the nurses that we have for orthopedy are here and this is definitely during the day that we've got this problem and we have uh, one two three nurses here um, and they're all doing care we've got a surgeon one that does surgery then patient care and surgery yeah it's pretty it's not the best balance is it we could probably do with another nurse um, that maybe even yeah no another nurse that does these two things right patient care and transport uh, during the day I think we would benefit from that to get that done we're going to need another desk in here um, that's uh, a thing we need another desk in here um, I think what we might do is items can we yeah okay let's delete this and we would like a new office desk we're going to grab this one i think oh do we have to have the stretcher that's i think that's what i'm being told we have to have the stretcher in this no no it's optional surely that's optional why can't i put that in there not enough funds oh yeah oh geez definitely gonna have to take out a loan aren't i again ah oh. We will, we will clear it. It will happen. It will be a thing. But we definitely need. This is an easy one to fix. It doesn't have to be that expensive. Except I am going to have to employ a a nurse. Um, but hey ho, I feel like we should be doing this. Can we? There we go. Right now, can I? Thank you. And then chair in white. Uh, we need a PC. Lovely. Um, and something else, uh, maybe we'll put in some of this glassware, there we go. Now, if we come back into here, we can now hire a member of staff and, oops, should we do that again? <laughs> we can hire a nurse and I guess, what's this one? A uh, clinical nurse specialist capable of revealing appearance of patient symptoms yeah okay why not why not um, this one's a fresh parent but I think that'll be okay I think we'll oh I've made a night time let's make a day um, there and she'll do patient care and transfers that'll be great that'll be great I'm pleased with that we'll go with that okay lovely that will do us for now um, so Jessica, uh, no, you're, you're the person we've just hired. So where are we? Um, well, we know what's wrong. So yeah, we don't need, they have been moved to the department. So they are waiting for a transport nurse, in fact, to come from orthopedy to transfer her. So it's possibly the one that we've just employed will race down here and get her. That'd be good. So that could be highlighting a problem here, to be honest. Yes. Uh, so what's going on over here? He still hasn't had his scan. Shouldn't there be staff here? I'm sure. Do we need to change to radiology? 
Right, where are you? Where are you? Let's speed this up. You know, um, he could really do with um, his scan. Uh, and this is something else that Serena said in the comments that um, not many patients come into the clinics at night time. However, the main benefit really of um, staying open 24 hours is that Frasier here, for example, came in during the day, but didn't go home when we went into the night shift, which is what they would normally do. He has stayed into the night shift to continue getting his treatment, therefore not being somebody who goes away untreated for the day. Isn't that great? Uh, there we go. So he's got tennis elbow and um, he needs this. Is this... Does he need to be... Is this something where they need to be hospitalised? Maybe. Potentially, I suppose. No, no, he can do it right there. That's fantastic. Isn't that fantastic? There we go. So we've dealt with Frasier. Uh, so we still haven't found out what's going on with this guy. He's, he's in the high dependency unit now. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, we should probably do all of these things. Um, there we go. So we've worked it out. And we're going to put him on an IV we definitely look at the state of these floors we definitely need to be looking at more janitors don't we for general surgery um, yeah general surgery so let's have a look at the general surgery uh, department she'll be fine let's go. so the general oh is there enough nurses to transport a patient look and look it's all for PD again interesting interesting but we have this is the one we've just done, but it's now night time. Right, okay. Should we get another one? I think we'll go for this one again. Um, oh, God, alcoholic. So, given that I don't have a lot of money, I can't really refresh this because it's two and a half thousand to find new candidates. Um, what have we got over here? I don't know what the hidden traits are now, though. Um... Mm really cheap isn't he? I think there's a good reason for that. Mind you, cheap is good. So they're late for work but they are also people person and they're paid less so you know what you're in you've made it. Okay well hopefully that will fix that. Can that fix? Can that fix that? Okay are we good? Are you gonna go and get him? Is that totally a thing? No. Where are you going? Where are you going? What's happening? don't know we don't know um oh look orthopedy again a bed required for treatment is occupied or staff has been busy for too long right waiting for surgical team it's hard to know if they are waiting for the surgery surgical team to form possibly she is getting a stretcher though there so she went straight to work didn't she there's probably a little bit of a backlog we'll we'll let it let it do its thing we'll let it filter through she'll be she'll be right on it could be that we need more stretches as well because that's that's also a thing um so let's see here there is a way of checking this on this actually wrong department there is a way of checking oh Oh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, I'm sure. Is it written here? 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 here. Um, I've seen it somewhere and it just tells you how many stretches that department has. Look at this. So we, we reached the 90% prestige at the end of the day at emergency. And look, we got 100,000 blooms. Um, wow. I mean, oops, gone the wrong way with that. So I am inclined to use a majority of it here because it also brings this daily interest down. Um, you know. Right. Okay, let's spin all that. Now, so our last objective is to have a bank balance uh, above zero and of course at the moment we can see here that we still owe 120,000 um, but from here on in it is pretty much just going day by day dealing with the problems um, 
how are the floors looking? So we were getting a bit upset. It's a little bit dirty here because we know that they don't actually have a janitor dealing with this. So here we go. This department, which was general, right? This is, yeah, general surgery. So in general surgery, where's their cleaning closet? Oh my goodness. Where's the cleaning closet? Down here? Down here. And they only have one cleaner at night, two in the day. So maybe we should up this. So, yeah, we want janitors. Um, I've got a bit of money now. So an early bird. This will be fine. Dexterity. Right, okay. Then night time. Uh, we're going to refresh. Oh, damn it, it's an alcoholic. We'll often show up late and hung, hung over. Mind you, they're, they're, they're only cleaning it at night at the end of the day. Um, and they work more efficiently at night um, and use this free time to study. So they've got lots of other benefits. Do you know what? We might <laughs> take a punt on Carol. Um, and what is this? Rest levels decrease slow. Sounds good, doesn't it? What's this? Slow learner, that's okay. In fact, we're going to take you just because of it. There we go, even though you're a bit more expensive. What happened there? There we go. So it's a full full cupboard, a full complement, um, and see if we can get this department uh, uh, cleaned up. Uh, it's getting a, bit, getting a bit unreal, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, we definitely need uh, them sorting that out. Bed required. Okay, we've definitely got something... There's definitely something going on with this department, isn't there? So, occupied or staff has been busy for a long time. It really could be the staff thing. Um, skipped after waiting for too long. <gasps> definitely a transport issue, isn't it? So, they've missed their surgery because the nurse took too long to take them, I guess. I'm assuming it's the nurse because we have a surgery team that does nothing but surgeries. So I'm thinking it must be the nurse. Uh, maybe this is just a backlog and they'll work through it now that we've uh, done some work on, on sorting this out, right? Okay. We'll just give it time to sort of catch up and let the nurses get, sort of get it all sorted out. I think that'll be fine, you know? Um, yeah, give it time. Let's not panic. Let's not panic. Let's just not panic. Plus, we don't want to keep hiring too much um, staff because... It's expensive and we're trying to pay off a big old bank balance. Here we go. Look, they're hemorrhaging. Definitely need emergency care. That's going in. Fantastic. Um, we might as well do these things while we are here. Uh, we'll do a physical examination and differential. Just see if we can avoid the x-ray, but probably not looking at it. Poor Michael Cole. What on earth happened here? Uh, what on earth happened? Exposed bone, some sort of arm injury, severe arm pain, hemorrhaging, open wound, jeez. So, can we narrow this down without an x-ray? Uh, wow. We got muscle and skin damage. Okay. So we got it down to two. But no, he is going to need the x-ray. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's fine. He's out of the woods though. He's definitely out of the woods. Um, shall we have a look at the patients kicking around in the hospital? I think we should. Uh, we'll also do hospitalised while we're here. Um, so what's going on? You're here. Um, you have golfer's elbow. We'd like to give you an ice wrap. And you've got a fever. So um, I'd like to just... Was that right? Yeah, I'd like to just give you something for the fever, to be honest, because that's not nice. Um, you're doing your x-ray business. That's fine. It sounds like we've got another emergency in. You need some numbing ointment. I don't know why we've hospitalised you, but we but we have. Um, and then what have we got here? We're doing a stool analysis on this guy for no reason. We'll just give him these meds and send him on his way. Some more, this, is, this has gone up, hasn't it? Um, okay, you are new. Um, so you're also getting an x-ray. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, no, that is that is needed. Sounds like we're about to get another emergency in as well. So bed required for examination. Um, x-ray upper limb is occupied or your staff has been busy for too long. Um, right, okay. 
so let's see here in x-ray would it be an we don't we don't get nurses with stretchers in x-ray do we so surely it would be nurses from emergency that would transport them are we thinking you know it's not something that i think it could have just been he called it badly they're on break or something perhaps no because they would still transport him so maybe she was just a little bit late we might need to see about no, more nurses for the emergency department potentially because uh, this person is also still just waiting okay so what other departments um should we look at we've we got anybody no we don't okay uh, lots of people kicking around um, this department. They're all hospitalised. Look, it'd be great, actually, Daniel, to get a lot of people out of here. The patient is collapsing. No. Well, where are you? Kate. Right, okay, hang on. Stop. Right. That, that, we, we got too fast. So Kate here has... Ooh, look. She has a symptom here that we're unaware of. Okay. Let's put her on these treatments. We don't know what this is. Um, we could try and give her an urgent echo to try and work this out. Ooh. So critical rooms is now two. Um, okay. And general surgery seemed to be better at night this time. We've got, we've got three on high. Not much better. It looks like it might be a little better. Um, then we've got the critical look here. Okay. Critical. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I'm going to worry about it too much. Um, because we have sort of done the level now. We are just trying to get money but obviously you've got to spend money to make money and um you know that would definitely be if with the more patients we can treat obviously the more money we'd be getting in um which is which is nice uh, obviously it would get us to our goal quicker but i don't know how much of it I really want to get involved. We'll see how bad it gets. We'll keep an eye on the situation. Get a bit of money in the coffers. Um, he is now being x-rayed. Um, excellent. Excellent. Favourite patient has been treated and is going home. Peter Baker. This is just fantastic news. Do you have any idea? Oh, God, he's, he looks pretty rough, actually. Does he not look pretty rough to you? He still looks pretty rough to me. I mean, he, he says he's happy. Look, everybody from the wards are going home. They all still look really rough. And Peter here is absolutely no exception. Um, but there we are. They, see, they, see, they all seem to be happy about the fact that they're leaving. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not take your first step on the path to total coolness by supporting me via Patreon. The cooler you are, the harder I work, which means even more shizwa.